Hello children, this is your Vanashri ma'am with chemistry subject. Today I will be taking up chemistry for you. The topic is composition of matter. Okay. Now, you know what is matter. Hmm? You must have already learnt in standard 6. What is matter? Any substance that occupies space and has mass isn't it it has volume and it has mass also matter hmm. so now so what are the examples of things matter the things that we see around us hmm. table books desk all these are matter which have mass and which have volume or which occupy space Volume means what? The space occupied by a substance is called its volume. Okay. So, this matter, some are solids, some are liquids, some are gases. Solids means your table, book, stone, all these are solids. The water that you drink is liquid. The milk that you drink is liquid. And... The one vita that you add in your milk is solid. Okay. Then you have gases. The air around you is a gas. Isn't it? So these are all different substances or different matter in different states. Okay. So already, already you have learned in your smaller classes that um, these three different states of matter, solid, liquid, gas. Huh? And what is the difference between solids, liquid, gases? All this you have already learnt in your lower classes. For example, water. Water is in liquid state. Now, if you heat water, water gets converted to steam, which is in gaseous state. And if you freeze water, you will get ice cubes, which is the solid state of matter. So, that means the states of matter are interconvertible. You can convert them. From solid to liquid, liquid to gas and so on. Okay. So all this you have already studied. Okay. So now today we will be learning composition of matter. Means how matter is made up of. Composition here does not mean your English composition. Okay. In English composition is essay. Right. But here composition means how it is made up of. What are the constituent elements? Okay. Now we will learn slowly. What is the composition of matter? Means what is matter made up of? Okay. Till now you have studied that matter exists in three states. Solids, liquids and gases. Now we will learn the composition of matter. Composition of matter means what is matter made up of? What is matter made up of that is called composition composition of matter okay so now matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules okay matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules okay now the best example you can take for example i'm not taking an example of chemistry but i'm just taking a daily example which you see for example a wall made up of bricks suppose this is a wall okay now this wall is made up of bricks
So these bricks can be compared to the molecule. Now if you break the molecule bricks into small small pieces, then those small molecules, small pieces of brick can be compared to atoms, isn't it? So similarly, matter is made up of particles called atoms and molecules. Now these molecules are made up of these atoms. Okay, molecules are made up of atoms like the bricks, the bricks similar to molecules, the bricks you can compare to molecules and if the small, if you break up the, if you break one brick into small pieces, those small pieces you can compare to atoms. Okay, so now for example, let us take a molecule, example of molecule. So you all know, you have heard about oxygen gas which we breathe, okay. Uh, the life support gas that is oxygen. Now, this oxygen gas is made up of molecules of oxygen. So, for example, oxygen gas is a matter. Uh, oxygen gas is made up of oxygen molecules. Oxygen molecules. Now, we have a chemical formula for this oxygen molecules, that is O2. Hmm. Now, what is O? O is the symbol of oxygen atom. You have learned the symbols of elements in standard 6, right? You remember? So, the chemical formula of oxygen molecule is O2. So that means each oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. This means what? This implies each oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. That means if O is one oxygen atom and another oxygen atom, so two oxygen atoms two oxygen atoms combine giving you one oxygen molecule O2 oxygen molecule. Okay, now let us take another example of say water. Water is also matter. Now water molecule whose chemical formula is H2O is made up of two hydrogen atoms. and one atom of oxygen that is why its formula is H2O means two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom so hydrogen atom plus Hydrogen atom, that means two hydrogen atoms, okay, plus one oxygen atom. Okay, forms what? Forms one water molecule, H2O. Okay, water molecule. So that is the composition of matter okay so so that means we can generalize matter is made up of atoms and molecules having the following characteristics now what is that particles of matter have space between them which is called intermolecular space you must have learnt in smaller classes in sixth standard particles of matter always are in random motion and this motion is known as Brownian motion. Have you learnt in lower classes? And then 
the particles of matter uh, are have a force of attraction between them which is called intermolecular force of attraction don't worry i will explain to you all the three points again even if you have forgotten let me explain once again so matter is made up of atoms and molecules okay now these molecules have first of all the molecules are tightly packed okay tightly packed in solids loosely packed in liquids and very loosely packed in gases you remember the point so the molecules of matter are tightly packed in solids loosely packed in loosely packed in liquids and very loosely packed in gases okay so the space between the molecules hmm, is called intermolecular space or interparticle space okay the space between molecules is called inter molecular space or inter particle space okay so this intermolecular space is minimum in solids moderate in liquids and maximum in gases isn't it so why minimum in solids because the molecules are tightly packed so space between them is very less okay so inter molecular space is minimum in solids moderate in liquids and minimum maximum in gases okay now there is a force of attraction between these molecules so that is called intermolecular force of attraction okay so there is a force of attraction between the molecules of matter which is called inter molecular force of attraction or inter particular inter particular force of attraction okay now this intermolecular force of attraction is maximum in solids why because the intermolecular space in between the molecules is very less in solids so they are very close 
to each other so that is why the force of attraction between them is very strong or very maximum now this intermolecular force of attraction is moderate little less than solids in particles of liquids why because the intermolecular space is little more than what is there in solids and this intermolecular force of attraction is minimum in gases because the space the intermolecular space between the molecules of gases is maximum they are far apart so force of attraction reduces okay so inter molecular force of attraction is maximum in solids inter molecular force of attraction is less or lesser than that in liquids intermolecular force of attraction is lesser in liquids sorry is lesser is lesser in liquids than that in molecules okay than that in solids right why because in solids the molecules are very closely packed so the force of attraction between them is more and intermolecular force of attraction is minimum in gases actually all these points you have learnt in sixth standard i have just revised it with you okay so now that you already know the states of matter solid example of solid is say wood then you have coal table chair all these are solid so that means all these things have a definite shape so solids have a definite shape isn't it so the next topic is states of matter in which you learn the solids have a definite shape solids have definite shape because they have their molecules are tightly fixed so that's why they get a definite shape so they have a definite volume and they have a definite mass so solids have fixed shape or definite shape okay definite means fixed fixed shape volume and mass okay why because the molecules in the solids are tightly packed okay that is why the more solids are rigid they cannot flow like liquids and they are very strong okay so solids are rigid because the molecules are tightly packed and there is a strong intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of solid so that is why the solids are very strong and they cannot flow they have a rigid structure solids are rigid so they cannot flow so solids cannot flow hmm. 
okay then for examples of solids so you have plenty of solids okay examples around you hmm? the wooden table can it flow no okay because it is strong and rigid okay now this was regarding solids okay now we will learn about liquids now liquids have definite volume definite mass but they do not have a definite shape okay liquids have definite or fixed volume means what one liter of milk so volume of one liter is same one liter milk remains the same quantity it does not change okay so liquids have definite fixed volume they have definite mass also the one liter milk packet if you weigh it if you take its mass it will have a definite mass okay so liquids have definite fixed volume definite means fixed definite or fixed volume they have definite mass only thing is the liquids do not have a definite shape but liquids do not have a definite or fixed shape isn't it when the milk packet comes to you when the milk man supplies you milk packet it is cuboidal in shape isn't it the packet looks like a cuboid okay the packet looks like something like this okay now when mama pours the water milk into a cylindrical vessel into a cylindrical vessel like this so the milk takes the shape of the vessel isn't it the milk which was cuboidal in shape takes the shape of the vessel if the same milk is poured in a bottle which has a shape of this then it will take the shape of the bottle so that means liquids take the shape of the container they don't have their own shape isn't it now for example if you are given milk in a glass of this shape so that day the milk will appear like this shape of the milk will appear thus like in the shape of the glass suppose another day mama serves you milk in a glass whose shape is like this okay roundish so then it the milk will appear as if it is round takes the shape of the container isn't it are you getting my point what is the meaning of liquids take the shape of the container they do not have a fixed shape in whichever container you put it appears to have the shape of the container right so liquids now what did we learn liquids have definite volume definite mass but they do not have any definite shape okay liquids take the shape of the container take the shape of the container in which they are kept isn't it so the example is suppose if you pour milk in a jug of this shape so the milk takes the shape of the container if this milk is poured into a glass which has a shape like this 
then the milk will take the shape of the glass if it is poured in this if the same milk is poured in a flat round bottomed glass like this then the same milk will take the shape of this okay so this is the meaning of that liquids do not have a definite shape but they take the shape of the container okay so okay now gas now gases have definite mass but no definite volume or shape because if you take gas and if you press it into a closed cylindrical tightly closed cylindrical vessel the gas will fit into a sp spread across the cylinder if you pour it in a bigger cylinder the entire ga gas will extend into the entire sp big cylinder if the same gas is emptied into a big tank the gas will occupy the entire tank so that is called gases do not uh, that is the meaning of gases having no definite volume and no shape like liquids gases also take the shape of the container okay so gases have no fixed volume no fixed shape they only have fixed mass okay is that clear children so today i will stop here so learn this in my next class i will discuss the comparison between solids liquids and gases okay thank you children for watching take care god bless you